Hi, I'm Paula Lackey. I'm founder of the Data Squad model at Carleton. It's a liberal arts college in Minnesota, the United States. In this video, I'll describe my philosophy for embedding professional development for your student workers through project-based work experience, grounded in fair principles to help us grow the next generation of data management professionals. You've clicked on this video, so you're probably working to deliver data support to your people. You may also be experiencing the rise in demand for data support, and you might be wondering about tapping into that experience-hungry resource of students. I also know that there are challenges with finding and retaining prepared data managers, let alone good student workers, especially undergraduates, who typically haven't lived long enough to have thought much about the life cycle of anything, but who are very eager for some real data experience. This sounds like a pipeline problem to me. On the one hand, we have a steady supply of eager and inexperienced undergraduates. On the other, a demand for more data support coming from all corners of our campuses. I think that we can find a way to pull these together. Let's start from the student's perspective. Now, they've been told they can get real experience through internships. Uh, but the catch is they need experience just to get the internship. So, so we looked at their courses which have little time for embedding real data experience or data man management training. So where else can they get their hands into real, real data work? Some of their earliest college experience of data or data science may come from their courses. This is where they can see and then aspire to become TAs, graders, and tutors with snippets of data experience in many disciplines and computer science, economics, physics, etc. So that's a good start. And the more advanced students may be recognized and selected by faculty to focus on their RA work and, and their research labs. Also excellent work. And there are some jobs in specialty areas like digital humanities and data visualization. Um, and there are the student managed clubs like robotics and women in computing and data science club and the hackathons. From the perspective of us, those of us seeking students, and um, especially students with some data skills, it appears that we're all in competition with these different areas. But what if this encounter is actually more like an ecosystem? Students might figure out that they're psyched about data as they pass through a number of these different roles and opportunities, but how and where are they going to get a coherent view of the whole data life cycle? Maybe we can help them put it all together. Maybe we can put a data squad right in the middle of it all. This can advance, uh, enhance the student experience of data. So as they are working on real data projects from our campuses, we slide in professional development with emphasis on fair data principles in all of their project-based experiences. In my example, to shift to this, it, it was a matter of changing my perspective, my frame of mind, and looking at their frame of mind. As they work now, I, I remind them all the time about where they are in the data life cycle within their specific projects. And I'm just as persistent with how to apply data, um, fair data principles to what they're doing at each phase. At the very least, I, am, I don't think that there will be any students will ever name any file final copy, at least none that have been in the data squad. So thinking of their work as existing within the data life cycle, that's a habit of mind. And that habit of mind can be instilled in our beginners as well as anyone else. But with the beginners, you get so much more rapid dissemination. So this is one of a couple of quick videos and I, I hope that they'll spark your imagination for innovation in your uh, environment um, or maybe Maybe you'll join us as we work to make the data squad a network model for, net, for working with student labor in the delivery of data support services. If we can work together, especially with our undergraduates, on integrating all fair data principles throughout the life cycle of their data projects, while these same students are busy learning all that sexy data science stuff, we might just find ourselves building a solid foundation for the next great generation of data professionals. In another video, I'll talk about the basic structure of the data squad or how I do this as only part of my regular job. See you there.